Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog of this holy month. Before going into the video, thanking each one of you for your love and support that you gave me, especially for my last video. Many of you had tried the recipes and sent me pictures, and I'm really happy for that. Hope you would like this video too. I have included some healthy recipes again, so keep watching. Now if I have any cleaning to be done or anything else other than cooking, I try to finish it off in the morning and then move on to some religious deeds like reading the holy book and prayer. On that day, my husband had to go out of Riyadh for two days, so only me and kids would be at home even on that day at the time of iftar. Since Rihan was fasting, I discussed with him what he would like to have at the time of breaking the fast and then prepared the menu. Some of you had asked me essential oils that has good smell. Of all that I have, this is my favorite. If not much cooking has to be done, I would get into the kitchen only after the afternoon prayer. Preparing the semolina drink first. Now since Arman would need lunch, I prepared the rice porridge which is simple to make and he loves it too. This is the broken rice that I use for making rice porridge. As many of you had asked me how to prepare it, I am showing it. Now he likes it simple but just to make it a little more filling, I added a little bit of moong dal. Then added enough water and cooked for 3 whistles. I am preparing paneer samosa and this time not fried. It's baked and much better than fried ones. Crushing a small piece of ginger, 3 to 4 cloves of garlic and 3 green chilies in a grinder. Chopping 2 spring onions. Into a heated pan, add 2-3 tablespoons of ghee or oil. Add the spring onions and saute till soft. Then add the crushed ginger garlic and green chilies. Saute till the raw smell goes. Chop a small capsicum into very small pieces. Add and mix well. I am even grating in one carrot. You can even add green beans or cabbage to add nutrition. It's up to you.
chopped spring onion leaves. Add half teaspoon black pepper powder, salt, quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder and mix well. Add the chopped spring onion leaves and mix. Crumbling 1 cup of paneer cubes. Add to the mixture. Mix till everything is well combined and the samosa filling is ready. Next preparing a healthy lentil soup. This is almost like a Turkish soup. Anyone watching from Turkey, this may not be your authentic one. I tried my best for a similar one. For this you need 1 cup masoor dal or red lentils. Then 1 tablespoon bulgur or broken wheat. Then you need 1 to 1 1.5 tablespoon of rice. I have taken basmati rice here which can be cooked faster along with the dal. Wash and drain. Chop one large onion. Usually dried mint is used in this recipe. Since I didn't have dried one, I used fresh mint. Into a heated vessel, add 3 to 4 tablespoons of olive oil. Add the onion and saute for 3 to 4 minutes in medium low flame. Then add 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour and mix for 2 minutes. Then goes in 1 tablespoon of tomato paste and mix together. Add 3 to 4 mint leaves and mix. Then add 1 cup hot water and mix well. When the gravy thickens, add around 3 cups of hot boiling water and then the drained lentil mix. Mix and when it starts to boil, add 1 or 2 teaspoons of dried red chilli flakes and a handful of fresh mint leaves or dried ones if you have. Mix together. Add some salt. Cover and cook in low medium flame until the dal is well cooked. Give a mix in between so that it doesn't catch at the bottom. If the soup is getting thick, add more hot boiling water. Once everything is cooked well, it's time to off the flame and the soup is ready. For dinner, I made beef kapsa. The same recipe can be followed for mutton. I washed 2 cups of basmati rice and kept it for draining. Now this is optional. I gave a little marination to 1 kilo beef pieces, adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon red chilli powder. Mix well and then keep that aside until needed or for 15 minutes. Grating zest of 1 orange. Make sure you stop grating when you see the white part. Grating a piece of ginger. It came up to half to one tablespoon. Now for the spices, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon stick, one dried lemon, this is store-bought one, 
You get it from any shop that sell produce from Middle East. Poke some holes in it so that the flavor comes out. Then one teaspoon cumin seeds. I'm making in a pressure cooker. Heat quarter cup of olive oil. You need a good amount for a good taste. Add the spices and mix for few seconds. Then add two large onions sliced. Saute until soft or mix for three to four minutes until they are lightly fried. Then add in the orange zest and grated ginger. Mix well for two minutes. It gives a good aroma. Then add the beef pieces and mix until it changes the color. Then blend three medium sized tomatoes and add to the beef mixture. Add one tablespoon of tomato paste, don't add more. Mix everything together adding some salt. Cover and cook on medium high flame till the first whistle. Then reduce the flame to low and cook for 20 minutes. Then off the flame. When the pressure is all released, check if the meat is well cooked and it would be done. If the meat requires more time for cooking, instead of 20 minutes, you can cook for 25 minutes and that's maximum needed. Adding 2 cups of water, this measurement is for 2 cups of basmati rice. Add the drained rice and mix well. Close the pressure cooker and lock the pressure. Cook on medium high flame. Once the whistle comes, keep it for 2 minutes on the same flame and then off it. That's the paste for covering the samosa. Now this is store bought samosa sheet and I chose oily type because when I use the oil free for baking I wasn't much satisfied so nowadays I use oily one for baking. For an extra taste, I spread a little amount of ghee on all the samosas prepared. Preheat your oven for 10 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius and then bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until the color changes to a light brown. It depends on your oven settings too. Daily when we eat fruits, it would be a little boring so do try this version of fruit salad. Here I have chopped one mango, a handful of grapes and some watermelon removing the seeds so that it doesn't disturb while having it. You can even add one cucumber. A little of chopped parsley, if you don't have it just skip it and you can just add the coriander leaves alone. I even added a few mint leaves. Add a teaspoon of olive oil, half teaspoon black pepper powder and some salt. Toss everything together without breaking the watermelon cubes and your fruit salad is ready. In my last video I had shown that I kept the leftover watermelon for freezing using that to make a drink. It's almost like a slush but I added more water just not to make it in an ice form. There were some seeds too, it doesn't matter if there are a few. Add some water into the watermelon pieces and blend well. So this is how it will be. You can add sugar and just have it as such. But here I added few mint leaves. Then I squeezed out juice of one orange. 
add to the watermelon and then sugar add more water and blend this is really a very refreshing drink Time for iftar. While having the soup, squeeze in some lemon juice. It's filling and really tasty. The baked samosa is much much tastier, healthier and crispier than fried ones. Highly recommend this way. To have along with the rice, preparing a chutney or the salsa for it. Into a grinder, chop one small tomato, one garlic clove, two or three green chilies, some coriander leaves, quarter teaspoon of red chilli flakes, salt, quarter teaspoon of cumin powder. Pulse it few times. Add little water and pulse again a few times. Making a curd mix, 3 tablespoons of curd, 1 tablespoon of tahina, link for the recipe of tahina in my description box, quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, salt and a few chopped coriander leaves. Having a coffee to just refresh myself. I know it's a weird combination to have fruits and coffee, but sometimes I like to have such weird combinations. And that's for today's video. Don't forget to try the recipes and let me know your feedback. See you soon with another one. Until then, take care. Assalamualaikum.